Hey everybody, welcome to part three of the graph editor tutorial series. My name is Buddy Blackford, and if you watched the earlier tutorials, I hope you haven't sent Bucky a bunch of Buckyballs yet. Well, let's head on to this part of the tutorial where I'll show you another type of graph called the speed graph. Right now, the one that we have been editing in it was called the, uh, the value graph. When it auto-selected the graph type, it auto selected the value graph for us. Now I can go to the uh, speed graph here. This type of graph shows you how fast the uh, points are changing rather than showing you their values. Now we can see that the speed of this graph, or the speed of this rotation, is. 169.41 degrees per second and then here at the end when it's done you can see that it stops down here um, if you're above the zero right here that means that you are rotating uh, clockwise now if I make a point let's make a point at the end here Let's make it actually right here. It auto snaps there and we will rotate negatively counterclockwise. There we go. Now we are below the zero line here. And let's watch this real quick. See that? You can, you can tell in the graph editor, again, above zero is clockwise, below zero is counterclockwise. So I'm going to get back to where we were before. Now to be able to uh, see your value graph at the same time as a reference, you can come down here to the uh, graph options here and click on show reference graph and you can see your value graph right here and it is not editable so I can't select the point on it you can just use that as a as a uh, reference so you can see when you're compare when you're moving points you can see how it definitely switches has grabbed way too many points at once there we go and you can see that the graph barely breaks. Let's move uh, this point right here and see how it works. Do a ramp review. And there you go, it's kind of like an easy ease, but done manually. See that? It's just another way for you to tweak your uh, animations and uh, another way to edit your uh, keyframe velocities if you double click on a point it will bring up the keyframe velocity dialog box and watch as I edit this it, it um, to the left handle here this is being edited as the incoming velocity and the outgoing velocity can be edited also which would be to the right on the graph editor let's uh, hit OK and you can see how it changed the uh, the velocity here it breaks here so that you can see what's going on I'll hit control Z to go back let's well, edit undo Sometimes you have to go up and edit undo manually because Control Z doesn't always want to work. So double click on it. You can also lock. So watch the, as they are together. Now you can increase the influence. So let's make this 100%. And you can see how much the uh, see the Bezier handle is more out now and it influenced that uh, side more. So edit, undo, 
and that is going to be it for this part of the tutorial on the next tutorial we're going to go over position because it's has its own separate things that we can go over and figure out what's going on with it the rotation is a little bit easier the position gets harder because it has extra extra uh, values like an X and Y and then when you start getting into 3d it's gonna have a Z so we'll get into that into the next tutorial and in the meantime you guys stay frosty and get your work done have a good time work hard play hard so see you guys later bye